This is a review of the four, The Hidden DNA of Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Google by Scott Galloway. I would read this book for its expertise, its opinions, its humor, and to understand a different angle of these gigantic titans. I would consider this a must read since you are listening from a YouTube channel, which is owned by Google. And to understand these titans, you have to see and understand what they are conveying. And what Scott Galloway presents is more of like a facade of these four companies being global superstars that are lovable and likable. However, there's a dark side to their progressive leanings, their nice guy and weak looking uh, facades. They are the wizards of data. They have the characteristics of Ayn Rand, who I'm a big proponent of reading all her books and influences me to write some of the books, which, you know, eventually I'll have this book called Go Galt. Ayn Rand is a top superstar and he puts her as a negative light. He puts these four gigantic titans as a combination of Ayn Rand, Darth Vader, and Darwin, as well as in terms of the word fag. Now, when I say fag, it means Facebook, Apple, Amazon, and Google. Yet he doesn't want to say that and eventually he mixes into them Netflix, which is Fang, and you'll see Wall Street putting them into that model of dominance, Fang. No one's ever said it like that, but I just noticed that as, you know, not to be politically correct or to be, to be fair. These companies don't pay taxes, really. Smart thing is they lie to us. They pay meters while breaking the law just to do the smart thing. It's an illusion that they're showing to us. Lean in, you know, with the whole gender equality. They show they have to bring this likable sense, especially with Sheryl Sandberg and her lean in concepts. That, hey, we like women too, or women can do it too as well. He puts things in a good metaphor. Google being the god, part of the mind, since they are a quick access to knowledge. It's a quick search away from finding basic information that are we don't have to work for. Instant, one touch. The heart being Facebook, the connective network that we're all on. The shared attitude. Amazon being the big dog, and as well as I'll mention my favorite brand company as well as you see that I read a ton of books that they are my favorite app is the Amazon Kindle they are for consumption more for less one of those things I don't mind that they dominate I think many other countries around the world will benefit from Amazon then there's Apple which is the genital area which would mean the sexuality for the luxury brand where Apple is one of those companies that they make quality products that are cheap Yet their margins are so high, they make a ton of money. And as well as it has a, like a sexy factor to it. Where say if a guy has a Apple Watch, you're considered more of a cool guy. That can trigger the provider instinct in females, which as you know, in most of my videos, that game is king. But for this guy, Scott, he's, I would consider more blue pill and progressive. He is conveying that the providers are, can provide for your family and you have money versus having none. Amazon does have power with his review system. You see that I do reviews and when people buy things, they like to see reviews of other people and to see honest reviews. They have the best logistics. They are everywhere. You can get it delivered in one day. They bought Whole Foods, which is going to expand into the whole deliveries in one day and that, that are going to absolutely kill places such as Safeway and regular grocery outlets, even Walmart and say Costco. They're destroying UPS, DHL, and FedEx. About something like 30-40% of the deliveries are Amazon. And the new big thing to understand is this voice with Alexa. And they're pushing hard this product. And if you really think about it, that they can hear, say if the Alexa is on, it could hear a gunshot or help or any other type of sound that is common and it could trigger something. It could be linked with other factors that people can use. And for Google, they're going to run into issues with James Damore and how they kicked him out of the system just because he wrote that letter. They also own YouTube. And with information at your disposal, they are the top for knowledge. I don't think they're going to grow as fast as, as the other three. Facebook, I mean, they've pretty much taken over because of their Instagram. Instagram stories are big and the visuals that create this ton of engagement probably the biggest expanding company that I see in the Bay Area, FastWise, that they're going to eventually run into issues because of their fake news and utopian type of views on life. 
Amazon, as I mentioned, is my favorite company just because of the books. They've changed my life, I believe, the most with their cheap products. I think I've profited the most off Amazon. And with these demographics, I think they're the, they are the future, and I agree with Scott Galloway. Apple, on the other hand, they have watches. Steve Jobs is dead, and he considers Apple as a religion. And I can see that because you ha do have people that are like cults. And I do appreciate Apple's operating system is super clean, but I've switched over to mostly Android. I do appreciate Apple's products. But as I mentioned, these luxury products don't mean anything. You have to have game if you're a guy. Some of the main points of this book are really the storytelling that these companies produced. For instance, they all want the self-driving car. They boost the most crazy products because the failure and the cheap capital that these companies have is that they can produce anything and buy out companies that they don't have to consider profits. They are futuristic. I do believe there's too much sharing and not enough living. I make that as the biggest point, even though it doesn't say that in the book, that people need to go outside. All these companies drive down prices. And this is new. This is like a Silicon Valley thing, even though Amazon's not from Silicon Valley, is information wants to be free. So they do whatever they can to do that. They put themselves under the darling of Wall Street or the darling of America. We will run into issues, especially with James Moore speaking out, especially with feminism becoming so powerful, you will see more issues. I see that Scott Galloway is like a progressive. He went to UC Berkeley, went to NYU. He has these progressive vibes to him. He hates Ayn Rand. He puts Ayn Rand in a bad light and I'm the complete opposite. I think she is a very important person, especially with males because of the virtue of selfishness and just some things that many males can can learn just by reading and yet they fail not to. Now since the four horsemen with Facebook, Apple, Amazon, and Google, who is the fifth one? There was no clear winner. It could be Alibaba from China, Airbnb, Uber, Microsoft, or Tesla. However, he does put Uber was supposed to be the top horsemen, but they have so many issues. They're not, it's not going to happen. They have so much management issue, fraud, and just they've done so many bad things that the public just doesn't like them. I would still put Microsoft and Tesla. That's just my personal opinion. I think the next step is not the self-driving car, but the electric battery, which is Tesla. Now, I still recommend this book. This is a very good book just to read, just to see what the details of the companies and to see to give a little snippet view of the future. And in terms of Scott Galloway, I don't agree with many of his things that his vibes are like he's went to college. I don't think that's important. You, you could read books and watch YouTube and get mentors. That's the future, not going to some overpriced college. He's a busy, snarky, has a lot of humor in his writings. This book sounds more like a blog and he does switch tempos, which makes it very bizarre for a book. However, this is very well documented. He knows what he's talking about. And for the majority of people, they should read this book. He actually believes these four companies should be broken up, as well as you need to understand the long tail. All these companies help promote by making all this information free and to make cheap capital that they are all competing with each other now. And we'll see who's dominant. And I do think it's going to be Amazon. And uh, thanks for listening. Here's the last statement from Scott Galloway. Find out, bitches!